Well, Matt, I wish it was better circumstances, but we've seen this team from the opening drop of the puck this year in L.A. show resiliency. They've been able to come back from tough spots in the schedule, deficits in games, and we all know as Wild fans in 2003 that a 3-1 deficit doesn't always mean the season's over. Yeah, some of our fondest memories here in Minnesota are that 2003 season when I think we're still the only franchise in NHL history that came back in one uh, playoff spring from 2-3 to 1 deficit. So we've done it before, and uh, we'd sure love to do it again. And like you said, Gorgie, it's, um, it's been so fun to watch this team come back inside games. So let's, let's come back inside a series now. It's been amazing to watch how the fans have fallen in love with Kirill Kaprizov and this hockey team. You walk around St. Paul these last couple of games, three, four hours before faceoff, the sweaters are everywhere. Yeah. You can feel right now the energy that the fans just can't wait to get back here. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a frustrating season, I think, for a fan to have such a, a an exciting hockey team to watch and not be able to be here as much in person as we would have liked. But hey, they had a little chance here tonight and uh, and hopefully more to come. But. But, you know, I, I think everybody can see that this team is special and we're moving in a great direction and we're excited about that. Whatever happens the rest of the season, rest of the series, um, we're excited about our future. And I think people can point to a couple of things that they really like about where this team is headed. And the leadership group is a big part of that. The way Dean Evison has managed these young players and Billy Guerin, some of the shrewd moves. I think of the move to bring in Ian Cole early in this hockey yeah. season. It sure feels like these two guys are in unison and making great choices. There's no doubt. Uh, Bill Guerin, you know, he's won four Stanley Cups in his career, two as a player, two as a manager. Uh, he knows exactly what a winning hockey team looks like, and we're so fortunate to have him with us. Dean has stepped in and done a remarkable job as our coach. We're proud to have both of them and the team that they built around themselves and now the team that they're, they're transforming us into. We are, uh, we are really looking forward to uh, the rest of this series and the rest of the season and next season and the trajectory of this team. I think you talk to hockey fans and we see them all over town. I know you do as well. Young players really excite them. Young players with talent. And yes, Kirill Kaprizov is part of that story. But you know what? So is Jewel Eriksson. And so, so is Kevin Fiala. Yeah, there's been, you know, we've seen, we've all seen this team uh, transform. Uh, you know, and, and Kirill's a big part of it. And, and Kevin, of course, has been coming. But yeah, the steps that I think of Greenway and Eck and, you know, and, and some younger kids that we have coming still, the, the steps they've taken this year to lead us to this kind of a season, we think we, um, we have a really bright future. And again, we're not giving up. We, we're going we're gonna to fight hard out in, in, in Vegas and, and back here in Minnesota and see what happens. Yeah, this team seems to always fight in every situation to the very end. So you know they're not going to go away. And I think about next year a lot of times, though, with maybe having a full building, with maybe getting back to quote-unquote normal. And I know you guys as an organization love when the players go to the hospitals, love the charitable events, Hockey Day in Minnesota in Mankato with a normal situation. This could yeah. all be really special. Yeah, it's it's going to be. Like, I don't have any doubt about that. Like I, I absolutely believe in what Bill's doing with this team. We've all seen the changes in this team, the changes in the culture. And uh, it's just going to get better and better. And, you know, I think we were stuck a little bit, you know, like this as in our trajectory as a team. We were a playoff team. And, and yet I just feel like now we've got the opportunity to really do something special here in Minnesota and, and give the fans what they deserve. And, and we're going to fight for, for a Stanley Cup and, and, and have a parade here in St. Paul. That's what Bill wants. And he's done it before and he's going to lead us there. I know the fans can't wait to. We saw them again in this building. 4,500 people sounded a lot louder these yeah. last two home games. Yeah, it was it was great. You know, they they uh, they they showed up both nights and they were ready to go. And um, you know, we're 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 lucky. We're just so lucky to have the fans we do. They're they're so educated. You can't fool them. And uh, but I think they know that this is a very good hockey team that's getting better. Really appreciate your time tonight. Let's do it again in round two. Right when we, we channel that 2003 comeback vibe and right win on. the series 4-3. Thanks, Gorgie. Team President Matt Maker, guys.